Welcome to the Diamond Kinetics Pitching Series. In this video, we will be covering all of the basic information you need to know in order to understand spin direction. First off, spin direction is the measure of the orientation of each pitch's rotation after it has been released. That's pretty much a fancy way of saying spin direction simply describes how each pitch spins. Typically, this metric is represented by time on a clock, whether that is graphically or numerically. If you look closely at this pitcher's fastball, you'll notice that after the pitch is released, the top of the ball is spinning back towards his hand. That's all spin direction is. We can now take a look at our clock, and we would see that this pitch has a spin direction of about 1 o'clock. To be more precise, every pitch is also measured numerically, so this pitch actually had a spin direction of 1257. The minutes can be confusing at first, but all they're telling you is how far in between two hours each pitch falls. This example is pretty much right at 1 o'clock. So now, if we take out our phone and hop onto the Diamond Kinetics Pitch Tracker app, what does spin direction look like in action? It may look like there's a lot of stuff going on here, but for now we will focus specifically on the spin direction section. As you can see, we have both the graphical and numerical representation right here. Our first example we're going to look at here is the fastball that we saw earlier. Hopefully in seeing the pitch and the app displayed side by side, you can see exactly what these numbers represent. I know you've pretty much got it by now. But let's take a look at one more example to bring this thing home. If we look at a video of the same pitcher's curveball, you'll notice that this pitch has the top of the ball spinning away from us. That means the spin direction is going to fall on the opposite side of the clock than the fastball we just looked at. This is what gives curveballs that nasty downwards bite that we're so used to seeing. And now that you have a general understanding of what spin direction is, here's a list of what the typical spin direction looks like for fastballs, curveballs, sliders, and changeups for both righties and lefties. And that's it! Everything you need to know about how to get started using spin direction. I'll see you in the next one.